Hey guys. All right, today you're gonna be making a seismic waves foldable that says 37, or 38, it should say 37. Baker's class, this is gonna go on page 37 of your interactive student notebook, just like the directions in Canvas say. You're gonna make this foldable. It's one of the best ways to remember the differences between P waves, S waves, and surface waves. And then you're gonna glue it into your notebook so that you have it to study throughout the unit. You're gonna be using these notes, which I've already put on Canvas within this assignment. All right, so to make the foldable, you're gonna take your white piece of paper that you have, it should be a full sheet. You're gonna fold it like a pamphlet. So it's gonna be in three perfect sections. Okay, it's in three sections. You guys are using pencil, otherwise you'll be able to see through the paper to read it when you're studying. I have to use pen because the pencil doesn't show up as well. So you're gonna write seismic waves. On the front, I'm gonna open it up. And on this flap, this one, that's towards you, that's completely blank. You're gonna make it into three separate sections that are P waves, S waves, and surface waves. All right, now that I've written my P waves, S waves, surface waves, sorry, if you wanted to, you could try to make them a little more even. Um, I would like to, but I don't have enough time. So anyway, P waves, S waves, surface waves, I'm gonna cut on each line so that each one becomes a separate flap. Okay, each one is now a separate flap. I'm gonna turn it sideways so that I have the inside like that. This is your cover that says seismic waves. This part in the end is going to be glued into your notebook. Uh, you're gonna put the glue stick on the back, but don't do that till you've written, otherwise your writing could pop through the paper. Okay, so with each section, the top one was P waves. I'm gonna draw a line to separate the notes that I put inside. Line. Sorry about that. All right, I am also going to write over here the word focus. And you're gonna write the definition of focus at that spot. Now, you can pause the video here and copy it right in now, or it is on the notes that are on Canvas here, right below this, it is right here. So you could always just use that instead of pausing the video. Okay, moving on. Once you have the definition of focus written here, You're going to fill in your notes for the P waves, S waves, and surface waves sections. Now the good part about the way we have the notes is primary waves, P waves are here. So you just copy all of that right into this section where the first flap is. And then of course you have secondary. You just copy that into the second section, secondary. And then of course you have surface waves, and copy that here. Now, I am going to post a picture of the inside of mine so you can see kind of how I've abbreviated the notes. And then you can either copy directly what I did with my notes here, or you can directly copy that information into your foldable. Once you've completed your foldable, and it looks like this, you're gonna glue it just like that into your notebook. So the notebook's gonna be here. You, that will fold out, these will fold down. It will not fit if you try to put it straight across the page. So please don't do that because we don't need a bunch of extra messy glue stuff going on. Okay, like I said, you're gonna glue it in. So you're just gonna take glue stick. This is lap book. It means your student notebook. You're gonna put the glue stick, just one stripe right there. Glue it into your interactive notebook. Sorry, like that. And then you are going to open it up. You're gonna take a picture like this. And you're gonna take a picture of it fully open. You have to make sure that we can read all the information on your picture. 
both of them. And then you're going to upload it here on Canvas so that we can see that you completed this assignment. This is 